Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a video on everything you need to take to uni. Um, I mentioned I think in my university checklist video that I was thinking of doing this video and people seemed interested so here it is. Uh, it might end up being super long and I reckon I am going to fill up my SD card and have to swap it halfway through. Um, so I'll try and go through it as quick as possible. I've written a long old list and I've used some different websites and things so I'll link them down below as well as my other university videos. So I've done one already about 10 things you shouldn't take and 10 university essentials. So I'll link them down below but this is going to be kind of a general list of everything. Um, obviously like I say in most university videos that I do it's going to vary for each uni and each type of accommodation. So definitely check your university's website and the list of things that they provide in the halls that you're staying in. Um, but if not this is kind of just a general guide. Okay so to start with bedroom things um, the first thing you're going to need is bedding. I think this is quite an easy thing to forget but universities for the most part don't provide things like duvets and pillows so definitely don't forget to bring your own and along with that duvet covers and sheets and pillowcases um, I recommend bringing two of all of those because if something's in the wash then you have another one and it kind of just takes off a little bit of the pressure of having to kind of wash and dry it all at once. I'd also recommend bringing a mattress protector um, my university provided one I think um, but I had my own anyway so I think I doubled up on mattress protectors um, but university beds aren't always the most comfy and it can feel a little bit weird sleeping on a mattress that lots of other people have slept on um, so it's quite nice to have a mattress protector. The next thing I've got written down is coat hangers. I think this is another thing that can be quite easy to forget. Um, I definitely didn't bring enough coat hangers and I ended up going to Primark once I was at uni and buying a lot more um, but bring coat hangers because you're going to need them, university won't provide them. You're also going to need a laundry basket or big bag or something that you can put your dirty washing in. Um, I know a lot of people use kind of those like Ikea bags that were huge. Um, I just got a cheap pop-up um, wash basket from Wilco's, I think it was two or three quid and it was super handy. I dragged that down the seven flights of stairs every time I wanted to do washing um, and it definitely was very handy to have something that you can put all your stuff in obviously. Along with that don't forget to bring washing powder and detergent or fabric softener or whatever you use to wash your clothes. Um, you can obviously buy that once you're at your university but it's quite nice to go knowing that you've got everything you'll need and you don't have to run out when you need to do washing. Um, so I'd recommend bringing that as well as a clothes horse or something that you can hang your washing on. Um, I think they weren't allowed at my university but a few of us still had them. They're very handy if you've got clothes that you can't tumble dry um, or you don't have the extra two, three pounds to put the clothes in the tumble dryer. At least you have a clothes horse that you can shove them all in in your bedroom. The next bedroom item I think I mention in every university video I've made but that is a doorstop. So handy, so good for Freshers Week. It makes meeting people so much easier because you look friendly and your room's open and people can just put their head in and it's just a lot nicer. Most halls won't let you put things up on the wall um, but I know that a lot have giant cork boards um, that you can cover with things so don't forget to bring kind of posters and pictures and anything that's kind of going to make your room feel quite homely. Um, so for me that was blankets and cushions and little photo frames and little like miscellaneous things to just fill up shelves and make my room look less bare. Um, also along with this books and DVDs and anything that you kind of want to fill up your room and think that you're going to find useful while you're at university I'd recommend bringing that along too. The next thing is electrical items so your laptop, your headphones, your chargers, your cameras, your phones a printer if you're bringing one. I personally brought a printer and I loved it. Extension lead is another great thing to bring if you have one lying around just in case your room doesn't have very many plugs. A speaker if you have one will be incredibly handy so if you've got one I recommend bringing that as well but obviously that's not a necessity if you don't already have one. And then obviously for bedroom stuff you're going to need clothes. Um, I don't think anyone needs me to tell them what clothes to bring so Anything that you wear now, bring to uni. Obviously, if you've not worn something in four years, don't bother bringing it. Um, I think everyone ends up bringing way too many clothes and more than they need. I think I wore the same outfit pretty much for the whole of first year. Um, so don't bring excessive amounts, but whatever you wear, bring that as well as, you know, fancy dress stuff. If you have that lying around, it will be very useful for freshers and business clothes, kind of, if you have a smart outfit for interviews, that might also be very handy. 
and swimming stuff. I think that's very easy to forget. I don't think I remembered that for first year. So if you think there might be a slight chance that you might go swimming, bring your swimming stuff. In terms of stationery, I would recommend bringing push pins. Like I said before, most university rooms will have a big cork board or something that description that you can pin stuff on um, and I'd forgotten pins so I had to wait before I could fully decorate my room which was quite annoying um, so I definitely recommend bringing push pins and then obviously pens, pencils, highlighters, rubbers, um, paper if you've got a printer, um, a spare ink if you've got a printer, lined paper that you can use in lectures, um, maybe a folder. I would wait till you're at uni to buy kind of the most of your folders and everything like that so you can kind of get a feel for what modules you're doing and what they'll kind of require. Um, so I would just recommend bringing the basics and then you can get more stationary stuff once you're at uni. Tape actually is a very good stationary item that I would recommend bringing um, because if you've got birthdays and things it always ends up that no one's got tape and no one can wrap up presents so I would try and remember to bring tape. The next kind of section of bedroom stuff I've got written down is important documents. Um, I think this will vary for each university, but if you've got like an acceptance letter, I'd recommend bringing that. If you've been emailed any sort of particular documents you need to bring, bring those. Um, bring ID, obviously. Passport photos, if you've got them lying around, um, you'll always need to like send in a picture to get like a uni card or something like that. They come in handy, so if you've got recent passport photos, bring them along. Okay, so now moving on to bathroom things. Um, I think this will pretty much be the same if you've got an ensuite or if you have shared bathrooms. Um, in my case, I had a sink in my room and we shared a toilet and a shower. Um, but I think for the most part, everyone's going to need the same sort of stuff anyway. Um, so the first thing I've got written down is a first aid kit. Um, for me, this was just like a homemade job of shoving everything into a bag. Um, but don't forget stuff like painkillers and plasters, blister plasters. Um, like throat sweets and lemsip and stuff like that because when you're ill at uni it's nice to have everything there already and you don't want to have to like trape out into town to get something um, I think it's easy to forget stuff like that because at home at least for me I'm kind of used to having it all there when it's not going to be like that at uni so definitely don't forget to bring first aid stuff you'll of course need to bring towels so I brought a hand towel and two kind of bath towels which was very handy having two, so I definitely recommend doing that. If one's wet, if you've got a friend down, they can use the other one. If you're doing washing, it was just nice to have two towels, um, so if you can, I'd bring two. And then obviously bring any face, hair, body, makeup, teeth stuff that you use currently. If you wear a retainer, don't forget to bring it. Um, everything like that. Obviously, if you use it at home, bring it to uni. Also, bathroom-wise, I would say bring hand soap. Um, so I needed it because I had a sink in my room, but I think even if you've got shared bathrooms, hand soap will probably be quite nice. And also, don't forget to bring toilet roll. Um, you'll probably work it out between you and your housemates how toilet roll is going to work in your halls. Um, for us, it was an ongoing battle. Um, but it's nice to go with toilet roll, so then obviously you can sort out who's going to be buying what when once you're there, but if you go prepared, then, then you're sorted. Okay, so just a couple of kind of random miscellaneous things before I go on to the kitchen things. I would say bring batteries. Batteries are handy all the time. We seem to always need batteries. Um, so if you have any lying around, bring them. And the same goes to spare change. If you've got a big pot of spare change in your bedroom at the moment, lug it all the way up to uni because that is gonna be gold when it comes to doing washing, at least for my university. Um, we were always literally like scrounging around trying to find change because I pay for everything on card at the moment I never have change um, So washing was always such a pain having to find like those few pounds and 20 p's So if you have a pot of spare change at home, I would bring that with you My SD card just ran out of space. So if I look any different that is why and I think it is a clear sign that I've been talking for far too long um, but now moving on to kitchen stuff, I think this is Something that's going to really vary depending on how much time you're planning on spending in the kitchen. Um, so I quite like cooking and baking and stuff like that. So I kind of brought maybe more stuff than the average person. Um, but this is kind of just a general list. So to start with, obviously, you're going to need cutlery. If you're the kind of person that doesn't really want to share cutlery and you kind of find that a bit funny, Definitely bring cutlery that isn't just stainless steel, get something a bit more distinct with like a pattern or a colour or something like that on it. Um, otherwise it's all going to get lost in the pile of washing up and you'll never find your cutlery again. 
Um, so yeah, if you don't want to share cutlery, definitely get one that you can tell is yours. Um, and the same goes for plates and bowls and things like that. Um, I brought two bowls, two small plates and two big plates to uni and I think that was like the perfect amount. I think any more and I wouldn't have been able to store them. Um, any less, I probably wouldn't have had enough. Um, having two was really handy because um, things broke and if I had people around then I had an extra set of everything to give them. Obviously you're also going to need things like mugs and glasses. Um, I think I mentioned this in my 10 things not to bring. Um, but don't bring any sort of fancy glasses, they'll get broken and kind of it's just not worth it. I think bring a couple that are big good glasses and that's all you need. Most of the time I drank from a mug anyway. I would recommend bringing a wok or sort of like a wide flat saucepan slash a frying pan with like edges. Um, because this was honestly the main thing I used to cook everything in. You can just shove anything in like a wok and it's fine. Um, so I definitely recommend bringing that and then maybe one or two saucepans um, So obviously then you can cook something in the wok and like a sauce in the saucepan at the same time and you've sorted You kind of don't really need anything more than that um, You're also going to need a chopping board and a, a good knife I would definitely recommend a good knife and a knife sharpener um, because knives go blunt really quickly at uni for some reason um, so I would recommend getting one good one rather than like multiple ones that are a bit naff. You're also going to need like a baking tray. I found having um, like quite a small one as well as a normal size baking tray was really handy because if lots of people are cooking in the oven at the same time and you've only got one or two ovens between lots of people, it's quite nice just to have, you know, your little sausages or whatever you're cooking in an individual baking tray and then more people can cook at the same time. Also, don't forget a tin opener these are essential don't forget a tin opener so easy to forget and for some reason they always went missing in my hauls um so the more tin openers the better um so definitely bring one of those and a bottle opener also need things like tea towels and oven gloves um tea towels are pretty essential they get really gross quite quickly um people forget to wash them and yeah they get pretty gross so i would say bring a few tea towels um they're also quite cheap so that's easy to get i think tupperware is like my best friend so i definitely recommend bringing it um especially if you're planning on making like big batches of food and then having it the next day or freezing portions or taking food with you to uni tupperware is great um the same with sandwich bags i ended up um, putting portions of like curry and bolognese in kind of little sandwich bags and freezing it like that because if I found I could fit more in my little freezer shelf that way and then things like foil and baking paper also come in handy as well. A vegetable peeler is also something good to bring as well as like a cheese grater, um, obviously things like wooden spoon, um, a masher if you're planning on having mash, um, a spatula, everything like that, um, you can get cheap sets of like all of those sort of kitchenware stuff and um, so I'd recommend getting one of those. A sieve is another thing that's really easy to forget but is quite essential especially if you eat as much pasta as I do and this is something that's quite extra so if you're not kind of into this sort of stuff then you don't need to bring one but I brought a blender um, it was a really really good set of a hand blender and it came with sort of like a mini food processor and a whisk attachment um, and I ended up using that more than some people might expect. So if you're into that sort of stuff and you like having smoothies or baking or anything like that, that you might need one, I'd recommend getting them. And then also washing up liquid and dish sponges and everything like that. You will be surprised about how quickly you'll go through washing up liquid. You'll swear that people are drinking it. Um, it goes down so quickly so definitely bring some with you as well as clean sponges because they can get gross quite quickly. Okay, so I think I've covered everything. Um, obviously there's bits and bobs I've probably forgotten and left out, um, but I'll link a couple of good websites down below that have got quite a comprehensive list of everything you should take. Um, and I'll also link my other university videos down below as well, as they might be helpful to some of you guys. Also feel free to leave any kind of video requests down below, whether that's university related or any other sort of video, please let me know and I'm happy to do that. I know that university is now kind of starting for everyone and um, there's only like a week or so left until I go back. I know that every university starts at different times but it's all starting now so if you're going into your first year I hope you enjoy it as much as I did and thanks for watching. Bye!